Hello and welcome, my name is Jonathan Ringer and I'm going to go over how to clean up your git history for a particular pull request. Um, this is kind of aimed toward the next packages repo just because we are uh, very um, opinionated about how the git history uh, is constructed. Uh, the main reason behind this is that we as a mono repo have the ability to kind of get bisect uh, certain issues throughout its history so it's important to have a nice clean history so that uh, we can use this utility to um, kind of like investigate and diagnose problems so uh, without further ado uh, I have a sample PR that I like to do where uh, they added a few changes um, and then some changes were applied to master and then uh, they need to apply the latest master into their PR as well as clean up the git history a little bit so uh, let me just check out their PR real quick. Now this is 96689. Okay, uh, and with this package, uh, what we're going to do is going to be using the git rebase minus i command. Um, what you can see here is that Git doesn't have a knowledge of what branch it's actually targeting for the changes. Uh, so if we do this uh, other suggestion down here, um, this is what I would usually do. So you can do git branch set upstream, and then this one I'm just going to set to origin master since this is targeting the master branch as the base branch for the PR. Um, okay, and with that, then we should be able to see all the changes that they did. So uh, here it looks like they had uh, two commits where they added a package, uh, one commit for then a fix up, uh, actually two, two more commits for the fix up. Um, and so then uh, the nice thing about git freebase i is that it makes it really easy to manage these um, these commits. So in particular, uh, like here I just reordered the commit history and then you can see the commands down below but the one that I, I really care about uh, is squash and fix up uh, since I don't really care about keeping the commit message uh, since they all kind of should roll into the initial package edition uh, here uh, I'll just change this to F and then change that to F um, and then by saving this buffer uh, we are able to then apply those changes so um, yes, and it looks like there's one, I'm just going to get rid of this real quick, okay. Okay, so then uh, this will be rebasing the changes, however the problem now is that there was a conflict, uh, so, so that the, there was a conflict in uh, packages.nix, so let me just make this a little bigger. look for it. Uh, yes, and so then this is the changes that happen in master. Um, I organized the python packages.nix, uh, so what we want to do is uh, retain their changes, but then also apply what was uh, done in master. So um, here we were adding the pi squee box, so we would like to keep that around. Um, so let's take their changes, find where it should be placed now, so squeeze box should be after this. So this looks like the proper location. Um, and then we can clean this up. Uh, by cleaning up, I mean we should be getting, we should retain what was in the head uh, and then discard the other changes. So now that what I change it, uh, now that I changed it, uh, I can inspect the, the diff. So let me add this to the stage. And that that looks right. Um, and we can do git diff head. And we can see here that then the one change that occurred in the, uh, in the file that we had the changes, uh, the conflicts with, um, this looks like this is the, the diff that we would expect. Uh, this is applied after. Uh, it's sorted and it's, and it's in its correct location. So, uh, let's just do uh, git rebase continue. Okay. Uh, reload the file. Go to where there's an issue. So they added Yeelite. So let's 
let's uh, take that, find where it should be located. Uh, ye light would be sort of before this. Okay, if we go back, uh, SQL light dick. Uh, the next one should be SQL map. So let's get rid of these. Okay, let's uh, just check the diff again. This looks correct. Okay. So get rebase continue to apply those changes. If we want to edit this, we can, but I'm fine with just keeping it. Uh, and now we are rebased. Uh, and the nice thing about this is that you can see that our branch is now ahead of origin master by two commits. And so this, uh, instead of having the merge commit, we were able to um, then just have it as if we just did all of our work on top of the latest master, even though it occurred much more previous to that. Um, and yeah, so uh, I don't have access to their Git repository, but I'll just push it up to mine. Um, and yeah, there we go. That's about it. Um, that's how to change. Yeah, so uh, the main takeaways from this for, for Git rebase minus I, uh, do git branch uh, set up stream to the branch that you're targeting. So in this case, uh, we were doing against master, so it would be origin master. Um, and then this allows you to use git rebase minus i, where it knows of its uh, like separation from origin. And so then you can easily uh, modify these. And this is also nice too, um, like, in the earlier example, we did two fix up commits. Uh, we were able to fix up those, get those washed into the related commit that we, we wanted, and um, yeah, clean up the nice good history so that all we have is kind of like the two changes that are part of this PR be exposed as nice atomic commits. Um, and you can read over more on how to use this, uh, but the main takeaway is that uh, this is the oldest change is first and then the most recent change is last and uh, if you ever squash or fix up it will roll into the previous commit so like uh, this was a fix up commit here and then I wanted to do the fix up command uh, then this will roll up to the previous one um, yeah so okay uh, that's it uh, hopefully this helps out people who have to kind of reorganize their good history for um, in general, uh, but then like more specifically for next packages, I uh, hope this is beneficial, and yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in, see you around.